As for New Mexico State, the Aggies hosting Tarleton tonight, and while winning their ninth in a row is a headline in and of itself, how about we all uh, remember this guy, right? Billy Gillespie, back in the borderland for the first time since bolting from UTEP over to Texas A&M. Good to see him back with the Texans team. He's been coaching the last couple years, and they've been the surprise of the whack so far this season, looking to upset the Aggies tonight. Jabari Rice, not on my watch, three ball for the good guys. Montre Gibson single-handedly kept the Texans in this one. Three of his game-high 23 points right there, but the Aggies, they were in control. Mike Peek, don't you very much. Clayton Henry also doing work tonight. How about him? 15 points on the night for uh, Henry. Good to see him back in the lineup. And then Teddy Allen, you know him as Teddy Buckets. He's got buckets. Three of his 15 points on the night right here. Aggies win it 73-57. A complete performance from Chris Jans' bunch. Let's head out live to the Pan Am. That's where we find Colin Deaver with a recap. Hey there, Colin. Well, Andy, obviously the headline coming into this one was Billy Gillespie's return to the borderland for the first time in 18 years to coach a basketball game. You can't forget, this is an Aggie team that is still the class of the WAC. They've now won nine games in a row, 14-4 and on the season, 4-0 and in WAC play, and they really put it on uh, Tarleton tonight, especially in that second half. You mentioned it, and you showed the end of that rally. That was uh, Teddy ha Allen hitting a three ball that capped a 22-5 to run at New Mexico. State made in the second half from around the 13 minute mark of the second half uh, to the seven minute mark of the second half to put this game away. Coming in, of course, three and one was Tarleton under Billy Gillespie. They were hoping to keep that stretch of play rolling against New Mexico State here at the Pan American Center. Gillespie's first trip to the Pan Am, by the way, since 2003 when they beat the Aggies uh, when Lou Henson was still the head coach, something we spoke with Gillespie about. But too much from New Mexico State tonight, especially in that second half, to send Coach Gillespie and the Texans home unhappy you know it just kind of gets contagious it runs through your team and the energy gets into the game the crowd gets in the game and um, you know there's always runs and it's a game of runs and uh, fortunately we had a big one like you said in the second half we got to finish players come up with the ball there's a lot of loose balls out there we got to get them so second half, man, they got us rolling. We carried it over. We got stops we needed. We got on and run. Well, I mean, the last time I was here, we whipped, we whipped them pretty good. And, uh, you know, the guy's name who's on the court was the coach at that time, Coach Henson, who I had a great deal of respect for. And, and uh, we had a chance to come in here and, and uh, knock off the big dogs, and, and uh, we, we didn't do it. And, and uh, you know, again, they get, get all the credit, but we didn't give it our best shot tonight. Tarleton State, of course, still transitioning from Division Two to Division One, even in the WAC. You know, this league very much improved. New Mexico State showing once again it is the class of this conference. One note that I want to make for New Mexico State: Uot Alock and Nate Pryor still out of the lineup uh, for COVID protocols. We'll see if they return for Saturday's clash with Abilene Christian. The Wildcats, of course, coming off a trip to the NCAA tournament in which they beat Texas. That, of course, brought Joe Golding to UTEP. But the Wildcats lost by almost. 30 points to Grand Canyon today so they could be licking their wounds as they come to the Pan American Center, Andy, on Saturday. Colin, thank you. The Aggie women also taking on Tarleton in Stephenville tonight. Texans, they get to win 58-56. NMSU is 5-7 this season. 